if you have to lose someone in order to value them, you don't deserve them. It should never be okay that someone has to prove to you that they are worthy of your love by being put through trials and tribulations, hardships and struggles. There is a difference between us working through normal life stuff because life be lifing. There is a difference between us working together as a unit to get through the obstacles that day-to-day -day life is gonna bring our way and someone intentionally putting you through hardships because they don't value what you bring to the table. If a person has to earn you back, that means they lost you. And people typically don't lose things that they value. Let me give you an example. When you really, really want that job, you are at that job on time every day, in the proper dress code every day, you are meeting and exceeding expectations. You are taking the initiative to be a team player and go above and beyond to make sure that you are doing everything that that job could expect and everything that that job could require because you wanna keep that job, right? You enjoy the pay, you enjoy the benefits, you enjoy the PTO, you enjoy the type of work that you do, you enjoy the lifestyle that that job provides for you. You are not gonna intentionally call out of work, not go, not be in dress code, not do your requirements. You are not going to intentionally sabotage your job if you really want it, right? Now, do people still get fired or lay off for unknown reasons? Absolutely. Especially in my state of Tennessee. Tennessee is an at-will state. They can fire you just because they don't want to pay you no more. Totally different thing. But the likelihood of a job needing an employee and then firing you for no reason is unlikely. It's sounding more like you didn't value the position that you had. It's sounding more like you were late all the time. You could not meet expectations. You were not meeting the requirements. You were not putting forth enough effort, right? It is the exact same thing in a relationship. Your woman wanted you, your man wanted you. Y'all got together in a relationship because I wanted each other. You fell in love. You started building a life together. You are both now dependent on each other to provide love and support and companionship. You have children together. You're now married. Whatever the reason may be, the likelihood that someone would want to leave that relationship or leave you when at one point in time you met their needs, you made them happy, is unlikely. If that person, if your person starts allowing things to happen, they're intentionally removing the effort. They're intentionally not communicating. They are intentionally creating financial hardships because if you really wanna be with me, you'll work through whatever with me. Love should be unconditional. Here's my thing. The vows say for better or for worse, and I support that unless you are the reason that it's worse. If you are intentionally being disrespectful, if you are intentionally lying, if you are intentionally removing your intimacy, removing our connection, you're doing it on purpose because you don't think that I will leave. If they talk about in sickness and in health, and you are intentionally not going to the doctor, not taking medicine that you know you need, not exercising, not eating well. You are intentionally making yourself sick because you know I won't leave for richer or for poorer. If you start spending way outside of your budget, if you quit your job, if you start gambling or picking up extracurricular activities that are very expensive, you are choosing to be poorer. I do not condone someone intentionally disrespecting their vows, 
intentionally breaking promises, intentionally operating outside of what relationship agreement we have. Because then it has nothing to do with my love having conditions. It has everything to do with you valuing the type of relationship that you have with me. And if you really valued me while you had me, you would try your best to not do anything to lose me. And then you would never have to work towards earning me again if you valued me from the first place. 